And there's problems. Problems in turn number two. Three cars, four cars. Charlie Jezombek up against the wall. That's Jezombek in car number five. He's in the Ernie Wilsberg machine. Kerry Malone, Randy Hedger. Also Dave Resendi's involved. There's Malone who has jumped out of his car. And you see the uh, problems he's got. Safety crew on the scene quickly. 33 is Randy Hedger. It all broke loose going down the front straightaway into turn number one as the cars went higher to the corner. Jezombek, that car right there, ending up up against the outside retaining wall. After first, Jerry, it looked like he went to the inside, and then the car came back to the outside just as our cameras picked it up. You have to speculate, Eli, that possibly the throttle may have hung open in his Chevrolet Cavalier. The car running so well, we just made a comment. He was coming toward the front and gained five or six spots already in the first few laps and apparently racing. The car didn't appear to slow going in the corner. He just came across the track and tagged the wall. The other cars you see to the right of your screen, Dave Resendiz, the 33 there was Hedger and Malone. Safety crews from the Martinsville Henry County safety facilities assisting Charlie Chizombek. And they've already removed the, the top of that car, Eli, the Chevrolet Cavalier, and they're there on the hand with the ambulances pulled up there and safety crews to try to get to those drivers as quickly as possible. There is Kenny Bouchard, car number three, the blue car, sliding by on the bottom of the racetrack. Mario Fiore's effort for Reggie Ruggiero. The field now sliding by beneath this five-car accident here in turns one and two, and what a tremendous crash early on. A savage hit for Charlie Jezombek, and there you see them assisting Charlie uh, Many of the cars now have stopped in turn number two. They're not even going to try and get through this area where there's the debris. We saw about five or six of the leaders go by, and uh, hopefully we'll have another look at it. Uh, yeah, here we go now. Let's take another look as we go back. There's Hirschman, car number 28. They were just behind, behind the accident. There's Jezombek. He's the lead car into the wall. Then Malone behind him. The purple or blue car, Randy Hedger. There, Kenny Bouchard just got hit by Dave Resendiz. And there again, Charlie Jezombek. Now his car and tagged the wall almost head on and spun around and got the wall again and came to rest out of turn two, whereas the cars of uh, Resendez and Kerry Malone, you know, piled into turn one, and uh, they are placing Charlie Jezombek, the safety crews there, putting him in the rescue squad, advanced life support ambulance in turn two, and hopefully they'll get into the hospital and we'll get a report later on. But that's what's left of the machine that Charlie J started today here at Martinsville. What a savage hit it took. Benny Parsons has made his way towards uh, near the accident area. He's with Randy Hedger. Randy Hedger, one of the people involved in the crash down in turn one. Randy, what happened down there? Do you know? Well, it's hard to tell, but the car five went in there a little bit heavy, I think. And uh, when he lost it, everybody kind of piled on. I was through it, and the car three spun in some gas or oil or something. It wasn't anything he could do about it. But it uh, looked like everybody's in too big a hurry too early in the race. The five car looked like, is that the car that really hit the wall a ton down the corner? He sure did. Now the one above me, the purple car, was spewing gas all over. 22 gallons went right underneath my car. So we had to let her set for a few minutes. I, uh, is, how is your car? Is it hurt badly? Uh, front suspension in the left front corner. I think if we change the shock and uh, do a little finessing, we can make it. You are going to try to get back in the race? If we have time, if we don't get too many laps down. We can't work on it on the red flag situation is the only problem. Is there any injuries back there, or do you know? I didn't have time to look. I jumped out to try to help the guy in the car that caught fire, and he got out on his own, and I never really got near Charlie's car, so I hope he's all right. I hope he is, too. Thank you very much, Randy. Thank you. As Randy mentioned, we are under a red flag condition here at the Speedway as the Martinsville-Henry County Safety Squad now quickly taking Charlie Jezombek to a nearby hospital. There's Hedger's car, 33, and Kerry Malone, the 97. We're at Martinsville, Virginia. Normally, at a time such as this, we're talking about the celebration in Victory Lane. But today, we are sorry to have to say that Charlie Jezumbeck has succumbed to injuries sustained in an early race accident today. We mourn Charlie Jezumbeck, a father, a husband, a racer, a champion. It happened quickly. First starter, Reggie Ruggiero, leads this field comprised of all the East top modifieds. Then on lap six, the leaders dive into one, and over-revving engine sounds off. Charlie Jarzombek and Kerry Malone in the wall hard. Fire breaks out under Kerry's car. He survived an enormous head-on. Number three, Kenny Bouchard involved. 
and 33, Randy Hedger, and the car that began it, Charlie Jorzombek. Charlie apparently died instantly, severe neck injuries. Bouchard observed. He come down underneath us, you know, not to run into me and uh, try to turn it down in the grass to make it turn so he wouldn't hit the wall. And uh, it, was, it was stuck wide open. I know he wasn't on the throttle. The basic roll cage and support structures remained intact, but the shock force created a great deal of peripheral damage. Charge and Charlie Jarzombek undoubtedly went out with that combination of a grin and a growl that only he was capable of. He had several track championships in the 70s, but had barnstormed up and down the Atlantic coast recently. He was popular with his fellow racers because he was the kind of driver whose spirit, I think, they admired. Charlie had raced for over 20 years, winning more than 200, nobody really knows for sure. He was running for NASCAR's modified crown this year, finally. There have been only two deaths in Martinsville's 40-year history. Ironically, the other was another immortal modified driver, Richie Evans. Charlie Lee's wife, Karen, and two children, whom we salute, because Charlie was definitely family to all of racing.